hi it's me editing this video and i've just sat down to edit this and realized that my microphone was not plugged in for the whole of this video and luckily my camera didn't just record no sound it did record using the camera microphone but it's not quite as good as my microphone so if the audio doesn't sound as good as usual that is why my apologies but luckily the video still has some sound Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little while since I sat down and filmed because I have just been in France for a week. I was away with my parents, but I'm back now, obviously. I had a lovely week. If you don't follow my Instagram, I posted some pictures over there and a little like Instagram highlight, and I do have a vlog that's going up soon. But in today's video, I'm gonna be following Sabrina Carpenter's new makeup routine that she posted on her TikTok. First of all, I just wanna start by saying I am in love with her new album. It is incredible. I've been playing it on repeat and there's not a single song on that album that I skip. And you know what? For the past few years on YouTube, I've had quite a few people comment and say that I resemble Sabrina Carpenter, which I am incredibly flattered by because I think she's absolutely stunning. I see that we both have like similar eyes and similar hair. So maybe we could be like distantly related, but she is just absolutely gorgeous. And her makeup routine, she looks beautiful. So let's just get into it. I'm not gonna be able to play the audio on this just because she's using one of her songs and I will get copyrighted. Oh, she's just so cute. So she starts out by using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and then she goes in with concealer. This goes so quick, I think it's like a minute long. And then this concealer that she's using, you can't see the bottle and she didn't do like a product list. I think it's either the Laura Mercier concealer or the Hourglass concealer, but I just can't tell. I was like just pausing the video, zooming in. It might not even be either of those. So I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion concealer and just guess that that's what she's using, but I could be completely wrong. Either way, it will probably turn out similar. So I've got my Flawless Filter in the shade three. And yes, I'm trying to hunt down that elf dupe. I'll test it. I think she just put this Flawless Filter here and here. And then she goes in with her concealer. And honestly guys, I am breaking out so much around my jaw at the moment. I've got so many spots here. I think my camera's sort of like washing it out a bit, but I've been getting a few sort of like down onto my neck and on my jaw and my chin and stuff. And the only thing that I can think is the reason for that is that I forgot to bring my Dermatica prescription on holiday with me. And also before I went on holiday, I stopped using it for about a week because my eczema was flaring up. And so I didn't use my Dermatica prescription for about two weeks. That is the only thing that I've changed in my skincare. And so I started using it again now and I'm really hoping that it can clear up my jaw because it's just all around the sides of my cheeks here. And like down my neck, I actually concealed a couple spots. I'm gonna put some on my blemishes just cause she doesn't have any blemishes. Oh, she takes her foundation and then blends it all in together. So she puts her foundation on the brush and then blends everything out. And she's using the Pat McGrath foundation, but I've heard that this, the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation is supposedly a dupe of the Pat McGrath one. The Pat McGrath one's like 60 quid. This one's like a tenner, so. I've got the shade 110 Vanilla Rose and she puts it directly onto a brush. This is just the make one of the makeup um, by Ariel brushes. So then she puts her foundation all over her face and then blends it all in with the concealer at the same time, which is definitely a technique that I've not actually tried before, but let's see how we go. I'm definitely gonna have to bring some bronzer down my neck. You know what? Mixing the flawless filter with that foundation is such a good shout. It's just giving it an extra bit of glow and my skin actually looks really nice. That worked really well. Maybe I will do that more often. Just gonna put a little bit of extra concealer on some spots. So she blends that all in together. Oh my God, her fringe is stressing me out. <laughs> this bloody Tom Ford contour thing. Apparently the celebrities love this because Hailey Bieber uses this religiously as well. I did recently follow Hailey Bieber's makeup routine and she uses this Tom Ford shade and illuminate palette. I've got the shade intensity one. This was like 65 pounds for a bronzer and then a kind of Vaseline style highlighter. So I'm gonna take, this is the Fenty foundation brush. And she puts quite a lot on. Maybe she's got a darker shade than me actually, but. And then obviously blends it out. I've got to say, as a kid growing up, I think I just missed the whole like Sabrina Carpenter kind of Disney Channel era. Was it Disney Channel she was on? I think it was Disney. And so for a while I just thought like, oh, you know, she's just a Disney Channel sort of like celebrity. But let me tell you, she is so good. I've watched a few live performances of hers on YouTube and she sounds exactly like the recordings. Like she can sing. Okay, so to me, it looks like she's got a bit of bronzer on her forehead and obviously she's just doing a short TikTok video so she didn't show sort of like every single step. But I'm gonna put a little bit up there just cause I'm assuming that that's what she did. I've got to give it to this Tom Ford thing. It actually blends out really, really nicely. I mean, you would hope so for 64 pounds. 
Yeah, this bronzer is actually really nice. I wouldn't repurchase it for £65, but it is nice. And then she goes in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Gasm Highlighter Wand. Her cheeks always look so glowy and so rosy, so I'm very excited to use this. Although, hang on, that's quite dried out. Oh, it just gets so messy. That's the one downside. Okay, so we'll blend this out. I might need a little bit more because it looks like she actually puts loads on. This stuff is so gorgeous. The one thing about this routine that I cannot get on board with, she doesn't put any powder on. My under eyes, they can't cope with that. Let's bring a bit of the Tom Ford. Actually, I shouldn't be wasting this on my neck. So far, very glowy, I approve, it looks great. The next thing that she uses is a blush, and I don't know what blush this is. She didn't really show the packaging for too long, she showed it for like a split second. To me, it looks very similar to NARS Orgasm, but I don't think it is Orgasm. I don't know what this blush is, I tried doing a bit of research, I'm thinking maybe it's a Pat McGrath one. So if anyone knows, let me know. But I'm just gonna put on a bit of NARS Orgasm, because it looks kind of similar. Just like a glowy pink blush to set the blush on her cheeks. And I think she puts a bit on the end of her nose because her the end of her nose is kind of glowy. So next she's doing her eyes and I'm sure that she's using this palette, the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette, because I mean, I have it. And wait, let me just check the shades on the inside because some of Pat McGrath's palettes do look similar. Now she's definitely using the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette, which is stunning, might I add. Look at that palette. The Pat McGrath shimmers are just next level. It looks like she's putting on the lighter shade, so the, like the less glittery one. I don't understand, like either celebrities just never show themselves setting their makeup or they're just creaseless, but who doesn't have like a little crease under their eye? Because I know it's not just me, and I know it's a very common thing. Oh wow. And she does take it quite high up over her lid. <gasps> Let me zoom you in. Look at that. Good choice, Sabrina, good choice. I'm so sorry to cheat. I'm just gonna have to put a tiny bit of powder under my eyes. Just don't tell Sabrina. And I understand that a lot of celebrities have often got sort of like under eye fillers and stuff, but even with fillers, surely like when you smile, there's like a little, no? You could easily recreate it with just like a light pink champagne shimmery color. So she does that, then she takes some mascara and in the comments, somebody asked her what mascara she used and she said that she usually uses the Glossier, Glossier Lash Slick, but she said she'd run out so she was using a different one, but she didn't say what mascara it was, but I do have the Glossier Lash Slick, which is her regular favorite mascara supposedly, so we'll give this a try. This mascara is okay, it's not my favorite. It's, it's quite a natural mascara, which I know that Glossier is supposed to be like natural makeup brand anyway, so that, makes a lot of sense. But unfortunately I find this mascara smudges on me. What I really like about this makeup routine though is that she just is kind of like enhancing her natural beauty. Oh shit. Also this mascara is kind of spiky, like the wand is a little bit painful. <laughs> then she takes a bit of Aquaphor on her lips. We don't have Aquaphor in the UK but it's basically just Vaseline. She puts a bit of lip balm on. So I will also put a bit of lip balm on. This is the Bondi Sands one, the mango, tropical mango lip balm with SPF 50. I brought this on holiday with me. I absolutely love this stuff. And then the got to be glued for her eyebrows. I know that people have been using this on their eyebrows to stick up their eyebrows for a long time but I have never tried it. This is the got to be glued water resistant spiking glue for screaming hold. I hope this is the right stuff. It's basically just a really strong hold hair gel but people have been using this in their eyebrows yeah like I said for a long time so oh my god I don't know how much I need. I don't want like crazy amounts so I'll just ooh. It looks like actual glue. I know it's called glue but it looks like glue. She's got very bushy, big eyebrows. No, it's just making loads of white bits in my eyebrows. Because her eyebrows are so like big and bushy, she doesn't really need to fill them in at all. I might add a little bit of brow powder just to make mine a bit fuller. I wonder where she got this tip from. Because I got this tip from watching people on YouTube. I wonder if she watches YouTubers. Well, maybe it's just a thing in the industry. I can't lie, I don't really like it because it's making like white bits in my lashes. My lashes, my eyebrows. You can see like the white clumps of the glue. And also it's sort of taking my foundation off around the edges. But I've got to say it is definitely really holding them in place. I do like how my eyebrows are looking though. A bit bushier, but I think I will just add a little bit of brow powder just so that they are a bit darker because mine aren't as dark as Sabrina's. I'm just gonna use this Max Factor one. And this little brush is from like a Benefit brow kit that I had. It has actually dried clear, so those little bits of white that were in my eyebrows have sort of disappeared, but it still kind of took the foundation off from around my eyebrows, which I'm not the biggest fan of. There we go, and my eyebrows are a bit more bushy. I've just got increasingly shiny throughout this video. <laughs> she looks matte with glowing cheeks. Did she definitely skip? 
<laughs> did she definitely not powder? How does she look matte and I look like this? I'm just gonna take a tiny bit. I'm just add a tiny bit of powder, but not sort of on my cheeks where she's super glowy. Okay, right, that makes me feel a bit better. And then the next step, she's actually using some of the new Rare Beauty lip products, the Kind Words Lip Collection with the lip liners and the lipsticks. And somebody actually asked in the comments which Rare Beauty lip liner and lipstick are you using? And she replied the Kind Words liner and gifted lipstick. The whole collection in general is called the Kind Words like lip collection on the Kind Words lip liners. And I have looked through because I do actually have all of the shades and there isn't actually a shade called Kind Words. But judging from the one that she's using, she's using like a a medium sort of brown toned one and there's only really one shade that matches that. This one is in the shade Wise and I'm pretty sure this is the one that she's using because it's like a medium brown. I freaking love these lip liners. Yeah, this is definitely the shade that she used. And you know what, one of the main reasons I love these, they twist up, which is so handy for putting in your handbag. And obviously I do still have the lip balm on which is sort of like shearing out the colour a little bit. So that's the lip liner. This is quite a dark one, so she I can see that she just dabs a little bit on. So then she didn't list the product that she uses next, but I believe it is one of the Makeup by Mario tinted lip balms. We don't have them in the UK. Mario, why? They're not on Cult Beauty, which is really sad because they're supposed to be really good. I think that's what she's using. It could be that or it could potentially maybe be one of the Colourpop ones, but it's just sort of like a brownie tone tinted lip balm. So I'm actually gonna use this one, which is by Sculpted by Amy, and it's the Hydra Lip in the shade Bronze. Just to give a bit more of a glossy finish. And then she's spraying her face with Oh, maybe it's not this one. I thought it was one in a silver can and I thought it was the half magic one. But you know what? I think that might actually be the Charlotte Tilbury setting mist. I thought it was this, but on closer inspection, I don't think it is. Because it's got a gold cap. Wait, the Charlotte Tilbury one also doesn't have a gold cap. What setting mist did she use? Again, it's really hard to tell because it's mostly off camera, but I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless. If I can get the little thing to work. Oh shit, this one doesn't work, does it? Because my little pump isn't working on this mini. I'm gonna pour it into my old Fenty bottle because this setting mist is so good, but the Fenty like spritzer is my favorite thing ever. Then she's spraying her perfume. I didn't even know she had a perfume, but I wanna try it. And is that it? Is that what she finishes on? She is so gorgeous. Whatever that powder blush is, I need to know because I think it looks a bit more peachy than Nars Orgasm, which is what I've put all over my face. I'm gonna add a bit of this Kiko Unlimited Blush. And there we go, this is the finished makeup look. It's just very blushy, very glowy, even like the eyes are glowy, the lips are glowy. It just looks so scrumptious. I love it. I think it looks stunning. The only thing I would change is just putting on a little bit of powder and filling in my eyebrows a bit more like I did. Anyway, that is it from me. If you enjoyed this, please give this a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos and like recreating celebrity makeup routines, trying products that celebrities have recommended or just like trying makeup products in general, please feel free to subscribe. It is free. I usually upload two times a week. I haven't been doing that for the past couple of weeks, but usually I upload around two times a week. Or if you wanted to just keep up with me, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is at Soph, or my TikTok and Twitter, which are at Soph Does Life. I only follow my Twitter though, if you don't mind people just chatting shit about random stuff. And that is it from me. I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye!